It was a really exciting trade mission. It was, uh, we met a lot of old friends and we met some new ones when we were in Japan, Korea and the Philippines. And really what we were doing was building on the momentum of the last trade mission, uh, the jobs and trade mission that we went on in, in November when we visited China and India. And this mission was about attracting investment. And when we attract investment abroad, we create jobs at home. This is how British Columbia is maintaining itself as a safe harbor in really tough economic times internationally. But I don't think the impact of Asia on our province's uh, economy can be understated. I know the people that we do business with there really appreciate when uh, our Premier in our province comes to their place and engages them and makes them feel important and part of our economy. And on behalf of Imperial Metals and our shareholder, I'd really like to thank the province and the Premier for making that effort and visiting our, our, our friends in Asia. On the heels of the recent global economic downturn and continued uncertainty, our ports, our ports volumes have rebounded. And looking forward, we see growth. This is partly because of strong and de decisive leadership by our senior government partners like Premier Clark, we applaud Premier's, the Premier's successful trade mission to Asia that has generated a number of agreements that will further facilitate trade and strengthen the reputation of our gateway and the jobs that it creates. Missions such as these are not just about agreements, though. They are about building relationships. Lasting trade relations between economies depend, to a great extent, upon mutual understanding, trust and regular engagement. Port Metro Vancouver encourages continued senior level outreach with our trading partners as an essential ingredient to that mutual success.